Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lena and today I want to share some uh, tips that, uh, of what has helped me to reach 90 in PTE but today I'm not going to share any techniques or tips uh, but I'm going to talk about the mental state uh, because I think it is very very important because besides learning the right techniques and practicing our mental state that we come uh, into exam with is crucial and may determine our success. So when we are stressed, our brain doesn't work uh, that well and it doesn't perform at, our, at the full capacity and our memory slows down as well. Also, positive attitude and expectations are important. I think they say it for a reason that if you can dream it, you can be it. So how to deal with stress and set yourself for success so that all your hard work that you have put, it, put, uh, put in while practicing and preparing for the exam would pay off. So the first step is go to bed early the night before and try to get a good rest because being well rested is so important because our brain does not function as well when we are tired. So try to get seven to eight hours sleep a night before the exam. And before you go to bed, make yourself a chamomile or peppermint or some herb tea that does not contain caffeine because um, it sometimes helps you to fall asleep faster and sleep better throughout the night. And when you're already in bed after you had your tea, before falling asleep, put on some brainwaves uh, track of tracks from YouTube uh, because it's been proven that brainwave therapy helps you to calm down and to fall asleep faster and certain types of waves even help you to imp inc uh, improve your memory and your learning capacity. I'm gonna uh, add some links in the description box uh, of the tracks that are my favorites so you may uh, choose something from that list if you wish and while listening to that music just uh, start some breathing exercises so in inhale slowly and then hold your breath for a few seconds and then exhale exhale slowly as well and uh, do uh, that exercise until you start to feel really relaxed and uh, uh, and while the stress goes away when you start to feel really calm and relaxed, then start saying your affirmations. You can, uh, you should say it uh, in, just in your mind, in your head. You don't need to say it aloud. And the affirmations may sound something like, "Tomorrow I will be well rested, calm, and confident. I will do great in PTA exam tomorrow. I will feel my best, and I will be able to perform to my full capacity." I will be able to remember all the techniques and tips that I have learned and practiced. I will be calm and relaxed before the exam. I will feel confident before and during exam. Tomorrow I will reach the score that I need. So you may use some of those affirmations. I'm also going to write them down or you may create the ones that would work better for you if you feel that you need to modify them a little bit. and. Uh, when you wake up next day, just try to recall the relaxed feeling that you have feeling a night before and try to uh, as well get back into the same kind of mood and anytime you start, start to feel some kind of stress again, then just start uh, to taking, taking in deep breaths and uh, uh, saying your affirmations again. And uh, during, on, on that day, uh, make sure that you drink a lot of water and you eat uh, nutritious and healthy meals. And uh, just before the exam, try to have a light meal so that your stomach doesn't start singing while you're doing the test. And use the briefing exercise and affirmations if you need to calm down yourself at any time. And right before the test, remind to yourself that you have been practicing and working so much. So now there are no reasons that you should not able to do well in a test. So go into the test confident and tell yourself that this time you are going definitely reach the score that you need. During the test, take the optional 10 minutes break before the listening part starts. Because by that time, you've been sitting in one place without water for two hours. So it's a good idea to take that break and drink a glass of water and use the bathroom and just again do some deep breathing and calming yourself down and just making sure you feel the best before the last part. And if you feel that you haven't done as well as you could at, at this stage, don't, don't allow yourself to feel stressed and just do your best in the last part because it may still uh, have a huge effect on, on the overall score of the exam that you will get. And the most important tip is believe in yourself that you have a knowledge and the intelligence to do 
to do well this time and to reach the score that you need doesn't matter how many times you may have failed before don't let don't let your past failures determine your future success the right attitude and confidence may do wonders for you it certainly helped for me and uh, share your tips for dealing with stress and in the comments below and also let us know which of the uh, tips that i have shared helps for you while preparing uh, and doing the test and um, if you are still preparing for the test and you feel that you need some private training feel free to shoot me an email and sending all you all love and all the green lights and i'll see you in my next videos don't forget to subscribe